Hey everyone, it is Monday 14th of June. It's actually like 7 o'clock in the evening nearly. Jennifer's asleep on the sofa. She always crashes out after a night in the hot tub. <laughs> Mind you say that, she did get up at half past three. And I've been up since then. I've had a sleep this afternoon as well. And I'm still tired. As you can see, this little one is completely out. So yeah, I haven't vlogged today much because I've just been too shattered. Anyway, back in a minute. Hey everyone, it is Monday night. I'm shattered. Jennifer's been asleep since half five. She crashed again. Um, got my orders packed. Made a couple of videos. Editing one. I'll be editing the other one probably tomorrow. And I'm just going to crash out and sleep. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah, this heat's killing me. I know it's not hot compared to some places in the world, but we do have very humid weather here, so it gets, it's not the heat that's the problem, it's the damp in the heat, it's the humidity that causes the issues. Um, but I'm going to head off to bed, try and get a night's sleep, and I think I will, that's I'm so tired, I can't wait. Um, and see what happens tomorrow, see what the day brings. It's going to be nice tomorrow, then it's supposed to rain for a bit, so hopefully that will cool things down a bit. I mean, I'm not keen on the rain either, I'd rather have it nice and sunny, I just wish it wasn't so humid. And I wish I didn't come out in this rash thing. So it is going down. It's still quite angry. But um, all I can do is keep uh, slathering on the cream and the Factor 50. And uh, it will eventually go away. I only get it on my arms and hands. I don't get it on my face. I might get the odd you know, itch on my ear if it, it catches my ears if I haven't got lotion on them. And my legs, it doesn't do it too. So it is, they made my ears look really big then. Mad. So yeah, it's going to be a nice week. Paul's out again Thursday, so I'm going to try and actually watch a film. Probably won't happen, will it? You know, with Jennifer, but... Anyway, I'm off to bed. I will see you tomorrow. And we'll do it all again. Bye, guys. Jennifer and Grandad, you sit in a poop a bucket of water. All the water. Mm. You got all the water, you get in the pot in the sun. Yeah, keep the hat on, Jen. Like that. So you have it like that, but you can still see... It's Tuesday afternoon and we're back at the hot tub next door. Oh, Happy campers this end. Poor old Paul slaving away at his desk. <laughs> We're all going to go and have fun in the tub. But Jennifer wants me to go in, so I don't really yeah, have a choice. So I'm all thin. So we've had lunch. We got Greg's and sat in the park. And she went running around the play park for a bit. And now, they, as you can see, they're playing with the ball. She's really good at kicking the ball up the hill, look. So sweet. She's <laughs> tripping over it, bless her. Oh, run after it, kid. Yo. <laughs> Trying to hit the ball now. Oh, she's so sweet. Hopefully I'll wear her out tonight and she'll go to sleep like she did last night. She was so tired last night. She just went, she hasn't been to bed, tired, she took her up and she was out. Had her story and, and fell asleep. It's nice. Anyway, see you in a bit. Been kicking the ball around with Jennifer. And now Paul's gone off to get an ice cream. It's not the best day for an ice cream, but hey, who cares? It's 
it's summer and we like to have an ice cream. Jennifer sort of like can't decide whether to go with him or stay with me. But yeah, he's gone to get an ice cream, which will be nice. Play ball and then maybe have a drink in the pub before heading home. Yeah, it's just nice sitting outside here, getting some fresh air and playing with Jen. She's so sweet. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to my ice cream. <laughs> We're in the pub now. My dad's come down to join us. He's having his beer. Jennifer's throwing his hat around. Naughty! They was, uh, they really were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, it's put me off. Stories of Bristol again. No, which we no love. more about Bristol. We love Bristol stories. Sick about Bristol. Oh, I just love, I love his stories. Stop, do I? Mighty, mighty, sleepy, mighty, birdy dreams, my darling. They're so cute together. Say hello properly. Hello. Hello, Paul fans. How are you hello, today? Hello, Paul fans. <laughs> How are you? You're watching too much Iron Man and stuff again over there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Love your granddad, don't you, Jen? Go to sleep. <laughs> you can carry your own if you have. She has. That's my little baby. Mm. Hey? Eh? Wanted me to carry her from the park. <laughs> I know she did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's all right there. <laughs> Oh, she's falling over, she's all right. Who are you? Go on. Yeah. She fell over with the hat. Ooh. Oh, God. Your hat. Do you find your hat? I used to say his hat is quite expensive and it came from New Zealand, so he doesn't really want to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I missed. No, you got to get it now. But that did put me off. Mm. Stuff so yeah. That's why I started drinking. That's why I started bringing beer. Yeah, yeah. She's my little monster. Oh, no, they're sweet. And they're cuddling again. That's all they do. <laughs> Throw hats and have a cuddle. That's the one get me one down, one. I she get says. you down because I got me up. Um, up. Yes. Um, oh. <laughs> my stickers. Are done? Play my stickers. Play with your stickers again. You get my hat up for it. Yeah, fine, thanks. Unless you want another one, Dad, do you? I'm not worried. Do you want another one, Paul? Do you want a half? What time can is it? I, it's five o'clock. Can I have two, two halves of the... Pint. Yeah, green grass of home. A, a, a pint of green grass of home. Do you want a half or a pint? I don't mind. Two pints of green grass of home and a pint of cider and of, of the um, dark fruits, please. Yeah, Sorry for prevaricating. Do you want a drink? I want a Coke. And a Diet Coke, please. Yeah. Well done. Good girl, Jen. Good girl. You keep breaking them because you're leaning on them. six. Yeah, we got till six, then we have to move. Oh, I've got to go before this. I've got to sort out Nana. Again. Hey everyone, I haven't vlogged today, it's Sunday and it's Sunday night. To be fair, nothing actually happened. We went shopping, popped to my mum's. That's it really. Um, I've done two loads of washing, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, so it's been a really short vlog this week because obviously I missed a couple of days because I was ill. What did I do this evening? Um, I had to put Jennifer to bed. She was as good as gold. She went pretty much straight up. I watched... The Blu-ray of The Son of the Sheik, starring Rudolph Valentino and Vilma Banke, which I had for Christmas. I, I just don't get time to watch the DVDs. I've got, I've just pulled out everything that's on my DVD shelf that I have not yet watched. Pretty much all of them are classics. 
because I've asked for them, I've wanted them, and I've not watched them. And I don't like that. I want to watch them. Some of them are Blu-rays, some of them are DVDs. I don't care whether a film's on DVD or Blu-ray, as long as I can play it. Blu-rays will play DVDs. Obviously, DVD players won't play Blu-ray. I have got loads up here. I've got, a f how many have I got? I've got four up here. One of which is a duplicate. There's four Cary Grants, and I've got an affair to remember downstairs as well. Um, so I've got His Girl Friday, to Catch a Feast, Penny Serenade is an affair to remember. I haven't watched those at all. And then I've got two Jean Harlow ones that I haven't watched up here, but I have watched them in the past. And that's Hold Your Man and Libeled Lady. I did watch China Seas. But of course I've seen those in the past, so I'm not worried. So I pulled all the ones that I have never seen and the ones I've bought that I want to watch again out. I put them to one side and I'm going to work my way through them um, one or two films a week, depending on how I feel. Tomorrow I'll be, well, when you see this, I'll be filming um, a colouring chat. I've also got another tag to do, so I should probably film that at the same time and just, yeah, carry on doing that sort of stuff. So I love movies. I read this book. I haven't got the book here. I've given it to my mum called Missing Reels. I can't remember the author's name, but it is on Amazon. I, do you, have to buy, you do have to buy it from a, a secondary party. And it's about this girl named Kynwen, which is a Welsh name. And she lives in New York. She's from Missouri or Mississippi or somewhere. I don't know. Um, and she's young. And it's the 80s. And she loves everything vintage. She dresses in vintage clothes. She tries to look uh, 30s Jean Harlow. So she's got bleached blonde hair. but she And she tries to style it like Harlow. Um, and she's living with two guys, uh, her friends. They're two gay guys, not that that's important. It's great. And they're great characters. I love them. I, they would be my friends. I would, I'd, I'd have to have them as friends. And she works in a vintage shop, but she loves old movies. And all her money goes on going to see old movies, buying vintage clothes and cigarettes. She does eat, but not very much. And she sort of becomes a friend of their downstairs neighbour Miriam who is very well dressed very well spoken and she's been living there for years and it turns out that Miriam made a movie back in the silent days back in the 20s and it's one of the missing films it's one of the lost films and she tries to track it down um she wants to track it down and it's a really nice book some people said it was a bit rambling that they didn't get on with the missing film bit until after halfway through but that was just setting it all up getting to know the characters I as a film buff really enjoyed it there were lots of references to various films um right through to the 50s and 60s which was great that's the the area I'm interested in from from the beginning to around the mid to late 60s although I do like some films from the 70s and from the 80s because that was a decade I was growing up in so for instance I like Star Wars films the first one came out in 77 obviously Rocky Horror Show, oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, um, and then of course Jaws, classic film, read the book, love that too. So it's not that I'm against those films, it's just that the, the eras that some of the films are set in are not eras I'm particularly interested in, which is why I kind of jumped from the mid-60s to the 80s, which I really love, because obviously that was a decade I was a teenager, a young teenager in, like 87. And then, of course, the 90s. And, but I can find a classic film from all decades. To me, a classic film is something that's over 20 years and it stands up to me uh, over time. So, for instance, Titanic, 1996-97. That's a classic film. Possibly even some from the early noughties and they're not 20 years old yet. So, I mean, anything could be classed as a classic, uh, depend on how it's taken. You're always going to get bad films, but even they can become classics. They become cult classics. Um, I've been looking at uh, DVDs on on Amazon and, and eBay and thinking what should I get next I've got some on my Amazon wish list so I might get one for my birthday from my brother I don't know my mum's given me money which was supposed to pay for the new Marilyn book but that's been delayed uh, now it says delivery uh, it was supposed to come out today I think it's just getting it over here delivery is now 12th of July to the end of August I'm not bothered um, it just means that there's not that money it's not going out of my bank account because Amazon don't take it till they get it into ship they ship it to you and it means I can spend the money from my mum when she puts it in on something else. So I might get myself a DVD. Chris will have ordered something off my wish list. The majority of my wish list is movie related stuff. I think the only stuff that's not on there is I've put a set of Prism colours in there because I might get them when I get my bonus. It's just so I don't have to go searching for it. I know where it is. 
and some photography books. But pretty much everything else is movie related. And so everything in there is something I want because it's related to the movies, it's books. And there are some DVDs in there, which is wonderful. I, I would like to get the Universal Mummy collection, which is the originals. So the first one is a classic and the other sort of like B pictures, but they're so much fun, including like Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. Um, I saw that on some guy's video today and I thought, hmm, that looks interesting because obviously the mummy. Now I'm not all there with it because obviously it maligns a very important Egyptian um man uh Imhotep who was a uh, great architect and he was the father of um, medicine in Egypt and in fact he could be called the father of modern medicine because he's the one who developed it before Hippocrates and all that stuff he was pre that and he was very well respected to the point that when he was buried and mummified in reality people went there to pay their respects and worship him because he was so well revered he was a very revered um per person he designed i think it was the the step period at Saqqara, if i'm right i've got a feeling yose's uh pyramid so but they had to pick somebody egyptians they picked on him so but that's okay is what it is so that's fascinating is that i do like those classic horror films i love hammer horror as well i would love a hammer horror book set um i just love movies I mean, up until recently, well, not recently, it was a good few years ago now when I started watching Silence and Valentino, the only silent film I had seen was Louise Brooks, and I keep, keep forgetting the name, not Pandora's Box, Diary of a Lost Girl, which I also have on the Eureka uh, Masses of Cinemas, which the other two are, the, the two, the, some of the chic, and I've got Wings. But yeah, I mean, that was the first one I watched. I recorded it off the TV. Back in the days when they actually showed decent classic movies on the TV. It's very rare now. You have to go to one of the dedicated channels like Sony Movie Classics or um, Talking Pictures. Talking about that, Talking Pictures are uh, showing a load of um, Laurel and Hardy next month. So I think it starts July 12th. I'll have to check. I really want to watch them i'm i've been rambling for eight minutes about old movies i really have got to start my movie channel um i will be doing that fairly shortly i'm actually going to take the vinyl vlog delete all the uh, not delete all the videos i'll probably leave them up but i'm going to change the title and i think i'm going to call it uh hollywood and beyond so that way it can encompass all sorts of entertainment it will be mostly films some records theater um concerts There'll be stuff on soundtracks, so I can encompass the whole of entertainment. So I'm going to leave it there because I've just added eight minutes to this vlog, nearly nine minutes to this vlog. I'm going to take my nightly medication, which is my asthma pump um, and my, what was the other one? My um, antihistamines. And I'm going to try and get some sleep, but I've got movies running through my head. I have got so many to watch. I have got a Shirley Temple box set. I have got, I've mentioned Wings and Diary of a Lost Girl. I've got Leave Her to Heaven. I love that movie. I saw that when I was a kid. Oh, I've got Tana Cary Grant. I've got some Mae West. I've got some Doris Day. I might have seen those before, but I've bought them. I haven't watched them and I want to. So I am so into movies again at the moment and it makes me happy. I love it. I, I don't like being bored, do I? I, I am never going to be bored. I've got too much to do. There's too many films I want to watch. There's too many books I want to colour in. Too many books I want to read. I want to take photographs. I want to listen to music. Ah. <sighs> How can anybody be bored in this world? I know I was when I was a kid, but kids do that. I, I, I just don't understand how people can be bored. I can be fed up, like when Jennifer's watching the same old stuff on, on YouTube, but she's young and I'll, I'll let her get away with it. I'll put on an old movie on my my phone or I'll watch something on YouTube. But yeah, I mean, it, I, I am a bit, oh, not this again. It's not boredom. It's just fed up with the same old stuff. But I find something to do while she's watching it. I've rambled enough. It's 10 minutes now. And I'll see you in the next vlog tomorrow when I'm sure I'll ramble some more.